What is up with y'all today? This is Nail Goodfella. Goodfella Nail coming through with another sneaker review, another sneaker opinion. Yes, down here in the sneaker cave. Thanks for everybody that's been watching my previous videos, weekly sneaker rotations, reviews, all that other stuff, guys. Just the content on the channel in general. But today, I bring you guys seven, and that is the New Balance 997H. Yes. Definitely fly and flames. You know, I knew I was going to get another colorway, but I just want to make sure it was the right colorway for me because they do have plenty of colorways with this sneaker. They got the South Beach colorway. They got the classic all gray colorway. Now, I did a review earlier on my channel, earlier at the top of this year, of the all gray. Definitely a fire sneaker. You really can't go wrong when you get a new balance in all gray. That's one of the very... That's one of the very rare few sneakers, right, that, like, you can get in all gray confidently. If somebody picked up some New Balance for you, and they'd be like, okay, I got the all grays for you. You know, it's no disappointment right there. Bucks. 42 bucks. Yeah, 42 bucks for this, roughly. So, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Regular retail, I think, for this is probably about, like, 80 or $90. I know it's less than 100 now with this, now I've, again, I fell, I fell down the New Balance rabbit hole. So now I'm like exploring new models. I'm getting other colorways and models I already have. And this is just another colorway. I felt like this colorway was definitely clean. Got some USA vibes. Got some Cleveland Indians, uh, AKA Spiders kind of like vibes. Atlanta Brave like vibes. If the team, color is red and blue basically this is it or red and navy definitely this is fire and flames this is definitely i kind of get like prep vibes from this you know what i mean just you know a little bit of more uh elegance in a way or not too much of elegance like deep browns and earth tone colors now this kick right here is basically to me just more of a stripped down version of the regular 997 and how ironic that they do have a 997 that's made in America that actually is this colorway, exact colorway, navy blue, optimistic red. Now I made up this optimistic red, but this bright red and the gray as well. Now I put my own white laces in here because I feel like the white laces would definitely spruce this sneaker up some. The laces that came with it was actually the smoke gray hard ridged kind of like laces i don't know why new balance just like give us these outdoor-esque kind of like laces now these are light gray um uh, they're okay but it's not really what i would put too much prefer i would just rather prefer just a regular white lace through this something that like nike would give us that kind of like lace and i feel like it's perfect um, it, it, the sneaker pops definitely one of these sneakers that you can definitely rock all year round because these colors basically can fall into a lot of seats. The materials on here are basically not bad, especially for the price, especially if you can get these for a deal. I've seen a lot of these been floating around on the internet for like 50. As far as the new buck, the new buck on here is definitely a little finger swiping, a little finger swipish. There we go. Not the most finger swiping, but close, close enough. It's, it's, it's decent for the price. You know, like I know, most sneakers under 100 bucks do not do this. You know what I mean? Especially when you're talking under 60. Listen, man, I feel like if you enter in the sneaker game, <clears throat> this would be a good entry level uh, models to start picking up on if you like New Balance because this is long term, you know, this is not a trend. This is something that'll last. Like, you can be 80 years old and still like rock these and, and not look like super kiddish or anything, neither. So, the quality on here is definitely it's decent. Going to the navy blue, you do got a mesh going along the end, you do have a reflective New Balance end. Going along the back, you still have that red and that paneling. The consistency of the suede or this new buck 
and the texture definitely still remains true to the back as it did as it did in the front <clears throat> now the thing that kind of threw me for a loop is like this crocodile skin this gray right here I'm gonna you know I'm gonna show it in a b-roll but this crocodile skin gray is kind of like odd to me the gray you do have gray paneling along the red as well and that is a little bit of leather it's not premium but you can tell it's more so, more so like a synthetic leather as far as the 997 made in America series I feel like this is somewhat of a diet or maybe like the the little brother version or something like that and that's no diss towards that sneaker because that definitely is a premium sneaker but if you still want to rock something in comfort and you putting them like side by side and everything those will still win out compared to the 997H this is definitely worth it if you you know you're not trying to really break the bank you're not trying to really go over a hundred bucks going to the ENSO you do have the light gray sock liner you got new balance 997H as well on the ENSO going behind the tongue you do have the same and uh, instructions do not machine wash or dry clean outside with cool water and mild detergent just a little bit of washing instructions I do feel like since this is a red and this might be that dye kind of like suede that this you know when washing it it might bleed a little bit so I would dab clean this if it did become dirty Going along the bottom, what feels like, I think this might be an EVA midsole. You do got new balance on the midsole as well. With a hint of gray on the side as well. Going to the bottom, the traction is not the best from the looks of it. But you do got new balance and the logo at the bottom of the sole or the outside. Now I am noticing that new balance didn't put that end cap technology on this sneaker. The end cap technology. It's something that's really prevalent in most New Balances, but some do without. With this, I feel like this is definitely a bargain pickup. Some you probably could have found that like Marshalls, Ross. This is this is one of those. Going to the back, you do have New Balance embroidered on that blue. New Balance at the top of the tongue, 997H. The tongue is mesh, but the ranking system for this definitely out of the box comfort tambium ultra boost react cozy all day one being hell no nah, walking on brick i would give these a 7.5 but it can mature if you wear these long enough it can it can definitely mature into a strong eight overall just overall everything the colorway the model wrapped into one out of ten I would give the 7.5 I do believe the gray ones the all gray is still better than this I think I probably like the all gray ones I give an 8.5 you know because you know you could rock more outfits with that but with this is definitely cool you know what I mean like this is fine <laughs> it's not ugly or anything this is definitely one of the better colorways if you ask me personally <clears throat> so yeah as far as like walking with this, like walking with this on feet, in case you want to know what that's like. And also too, go true to size, your normal New Balance size, you go true to size. As far as like walking with these during the day or anything, casual walking, you do have a lightweight ride. This isn't as heavy as a Nike Air Max 90. And that's no diss to the Nike Air Max 90, I'm just using that for comparison purposes because that sneaker is kind of heavy on the back with the Air and this isn't as light as the Speed Racer, the Nike Speed Racer. Okay. For this to be a New Balance, this is definitely one of the lighter New Balances that I felt. This isn't as light as the 247. Remember those that came out back a few years ago? This is slightly more heavier than the 247. That one more so had like a mesh upper and a EVA or foam like um, midsole. But with this, with the upper not being leather, of course, you do have a lighter sneaker which also provides a lighter ride when you do walk in it so rate comment and subscribe this is Neil Goodfella Goodfella Neil coming through with 
the 997H 